Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to use Blendspace for your independent learning sessions. First of all, you need to go to uh, tess.com forward slash lessons and you need to sign up with an account. Once you've signed up with an account, it only takes a couple of seconds to do, you get presented with this page here. Now there's two things you need to remember. You've got classes and you've got lessons. Classes are the groups of learners that you're with. So it could be your first year learners, your second year learners, or it could be a specific session of the week that you're gonna put all of your stuff online. So in here, you've got my classes. So we're gonna set up a class first of all, and we're gonna call this level three, Sharp Care, create class. Okay, don't worry about the grade and level. So if we go to classes now, you can see we've set up level three childcare. If I click that, um, you see that there's no students yet and there's no lesson. So now we need to create a lesson. So we go to a lesson, we click new lesson. We're gonna call this uh, childcare theory. Uh, forest school. So that's going to be the lesson. In here, I normally put in, uh, yeah, I click the little A and I can put in here my learning objectives and stuff. So, so my learning objectives in there, and I can put in learning objective one, learning objective two, learning, obje learning objective three, and I can put in also my outcomes or tasks, session tasks. Here. So again, we can bullet point them, do your tasks. It's just like Word, you can bold things out, you can italicize them and all that kind of stuff. So that's in there. So I normally do that as good practice so that the learner doesn't have to keep going back to Moodle, they can find the stuff in here once they've come from Moodle to here. So the next thing we need to do is find some resources to put in about the forest school. So if we go to here on this right hand side, these are all the things that can be put into Blend Space and dragged in. So you've got YouTube, you've got Google Search, you've got a web link, and you can upload your own stuff. And there's other files and things in there as well. So let's go do a YouTube search for Forest School Approach. And now, what's cool is you can actually search videos and stuff and watch them within Blend Space rather than coming out and going to. Um, like YouTube itself. So I've looked at this video and I know this video is okay, so I can click there, I can do a bit of a preview. They need to do in order to develop physically. So you know that that's a decent video that you're going to use, so we can click that and drag and drop. So there we go, we've got a video. And what we can do now with that video is we can also, this little pencil that appears, you can put a description in. So you could put in here, watch this video and you might only want them to look at minutes 2 10 to 2 I know 2 10 to 4 30 so you just want them to look at a couple of minutes and then summarize key points in a word doc so done. So now we know that that's what we want them to do. Watch this video and the learners can click that and find the description. The next thing we're going to do is do a Google search and see if there's anything in Google that we can also add to the forest school. So we can do a forest school approach and we can say, right, let's have a look at this one, which is about the learning process. So we can do a preview of it. Open a new tab and it's a web page. You think, oh, that's quite interesting. It's got all the stuff that we could do with. So we're going to click back there and we're going to say, yep that's definitely what we want to use so we can drop that in so then that'll put the web page in there so you've got a you've got a google search you can just drop stuff in from a google search as well and it'll give you sometimes it gives you videos in there as well from vimeo so the next thing we can do is we can say right i'm i'm going to look at going into here and we could put our own web link in let's say that this was my own prezi i could then take that that link there copy it, go back to there, and in this where it says put a web link in, I can paste that Prezi web link in, I press that button, and it will find it, and now I can drop a Prezi presentation in there. And if I want to now, I can open up that link if I was a learner, and it's gonna put it on there, and I can look at put a present, and then I've got a Prezi presentation about that unit and that the learners could then click through. So if you've done your own present presentations, they can go in there as well. So, so far we've got our learning objectives, we've got a video, we've got a, a, 
article that can read. We've got um, a Prezi presentation. We, there's also files you can upload your own files, uh, and it keeps all the ones that you've put in there before. So let's put this meal plan docs. That's a Word document. I can just drop that in what I've already uploaded, and you can click on it, and you can see the Word document there. So all of these things are built there. So if you've got handouts, they can go on. Images can go up there through that link there, through this uploader file. So now we've made a lesson, we can go back to the main page by clicking Test Teach. And now you can see our recent lessons, we've got childcare theory. Now at the moment, we've only got one class, which is childcare, and still we've got no students and we've got no lessons in there. So back to lessons. Click on this lesson now. We've, there's two ways you can do it. You can click this share button here from this page, or if we're going, going to do it from inside the page when we create it, we press this share button just there. Now, if you've got your classes set up, it will be in this little boxes box here, and we're going to click childcare. So we know we're sharing it with childcare, and the next thing we need is this link just here. That link that I've just highlighted is the link that will be put into Moodle. The learners have to go to Moodle, go to the this the week that for their independent learning and they click this link which will bring them to test and that will get them their um, registration mark so they've got to go to Moodle first they click this link which will get them the registration mark and it comes to blend space and then they don't have to go anywhere else it's all in blend space so you will just copy that and put it into Moodle I'll show you how to do that in another video so we've now shared it with that group so if you click back into this test teach and now we go to classes we go to childcare and this time you've got the lesson there but we've still got no students okay now you can add students here but what you need basically is the learner needs this code just here which is h-r-i-z for this class and we're going to let them see all lessons close that so what we do is the learner would then sign up to blend space you could do that in um, induction and they just click the join class and all they do is type in that code join class now they've joined it so if we go to classes now and you've got level three childcare you can see that I am now a learner and you'll have a list of all of your learners in there and you, you, you want your learners to be telling make sure that they put their name in as their username uh, so that you know who each, each person is and that is how you create your lesson that's how you create your classes and it's how you share it with your learners uh, the next step would be then to take the um, the link just here go to share take that link put that link into Moodle that's it